feel, you know, my mom struggled a bit when, when my dad left and I felt a responsibility. Um, I protected my sister a lot, you know, when, when things yeah. were a bit hairy, some evenings I would tell my sister to go to, go to sleep and, and, and I would, I would like be there with my mom. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you did feel that pressure. I was very angry for a long time. I was angry with my, with my father for leaving and it took a long time for, for me to understand that it was not just his fault, um, you know? And then what happened was he did this one break and I ran and I chased him and, and he ran into this classroom and then I ran in to the classroom after him and I'm like, now I'm going to get this guy. And there's this, all these people there praying, you know? And I'm like, okay, this is uh, bad, bad timing. I maybe, <laughs> maybe shouldn't beat him up now, you know? And I ran across like four lanes to get to them. Um, and, and they're like, I'm like, I've missed the bus. And then they were helping me find, and they were really, we were really also going to like get me on a tube and catch a tube to the, to the Heathrow <laughs> and I'm stressing. And next minute the bus pulls up and Fuchs, Sean Fuchs is standing at the front of the bus. And I'm like, this guy's going to kill me. And I had to explain to everyone what had happened on the microphone on the bus. And uh, we, had cut, we had cut the whole um, St. Paul's Cathedral tour short. And oh. uh, uh, because of me, they had cut the oh. whole tour of the St. Paul's Cathedral. And uh, I mean, I felt terrible. And they, tr they treated it. I was the first time they did the, the dialysis, which basically what it is, is this big filtering machine. And, and they put you on this machine. You've got a, um, a catheter in your neck. So two pipes in your neck. Um, well, they, they, have, they put it very places with mine. They put it in my neck. And uh, they plug you into this machine. And your blood goes out the machine. It filters, it goes through a filter um, and it takes out all the bad plasma and then they put new plasma in, which is then supposed to be, kick up your platelet count. I got into a big debate at college about the gay, the gay thing. And I was like, but why would God make somebody gay if it's so wrong? Yes. And uh, I got, got kicked out as well for that. And, and, and so, yeah, it was all, that was all at that stage where I started to question things and, and, um, and you know, you look at things and you go, this is very much cultural, culturally specific to that time. You know, things in, in, in the Bible, were, you know, like that's specific to the, to and then they were all going to jump in and back me up. And, <laughs> and uh, that's what's supposed to happen. So it came along and I mean, I wasn't looking forward to it, you know, in, you know, getting the ball rolling on somebody losing their job, you know, yeah. it's not what you want to do, but I, I did think it was the right thing. And I did think that the guy, what you know i think things have got stale and and that the, there was a different direction that would have been better and uh, so i said listen i think you've been here too long and and some of the days are stale and and i think um i like you it's nothing personal but i think that we need to go in another direction and i think you should look at doing something else and you should consider stepping down and these guys all just kept quiet and that, that was crazy. I mean, the minute that I left, like, left the ministry uh, in inverted commas, um, a lot of my friends just stopped talking to me um, because I, I had, you know, I had, I had slid into the pits of hell or something because yeah, I, yes. I left the church. Uh, one of them was even my, my, one of my best friends. I was best man at his wedding and, and he just flat out stopped talking to me. And yeah, it was, it was quite a hectic thing. God called things like the Antichrist and it was... No it was ways. Hectic. Yeah, it was hectic. It was... Uh, just crazy, crazy time. And that was the second bout of, of TTP. Uh, and that was quite hectic because they were basically, at that stage, my mom and stepdad were overseas. And um, they were basically, oh, no at one stage, they were like, listen, you need to, you need to tell them to come over because he's, he's not going to make it. And, oh, wow. and the thing for me was I, I never believed that I was going to die. I never, I never, you know, I, I knew that it was bad. And you know that it's bad because of other people's reactions. You know, he, he would, you know, he's tough on us, uh, he, but, but it all comes from a good place. You know, he wants the best for us. And, and so he was, you know, I would say at times he was tougher on us than what he was on, on, on the other staff, you know, and, um, and yeah, I had to start just, I had to start by learning from the other people that the other, the other, my other colleagues that were there and, and again, the language thing and, and, and learning a whole new, a whole new business but he was always confident that, that I could succeed in, in sales. And she said, uh, yeah, I, I, I know this, this girl, she's lovely. And, you know, she's got two kids. And I said, well, like two kids? No, <laughs> no, you know? And she was like, no, she's really nice. Just meet her. And, um, and I met Diane and, and it just went from there. And most beautiful person I've met and uh, again, changed my life. And, and 
with this last bout of, of, of illness, she was amazing. You know, this is where I must say to you guys, um, I listen to your guys' podcast all the time and because it's just such a happy, you guys create such a happy podcast, such a, your conversations are always so happy and, and, and it was so positive. And so when I do my walks in the mornings in the, in the passageway, I'd listen to you guys and <laughs> I say thank you so much because it, it was one of the things that helped me stay positive when it was, would have been really easy to, to get down and negative. And um, so it was awesome. Um, and it was touch and go. Like it literally, you know, yeah. there was... There was moments where we were like, we're not too sure what's going to happen if he's going to make it. Yeah, I mean, there was five days where I was just under and no one knew when I was going to wake up. So, yes. that, you know, that was, that was, it, was a, it was five days after that I, that I, that I came through. Because basically what the doctors said to my family was, he's, he's under now and it's up to him to come out, to wake up. Unfortunately, our generation and generations younger, it's never our fault, you know, it's always somebody else's fault. And, and it's not, it's on you. It's on you as the, the person to take responsibility of your own life. And, and, and you know, I, I just got to a point with, you know, a couple of very tough conversations with, with, with people around me and family members and my stepdad and, and um, where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not doing what I should be doing. I'm not, I'm not being the best version of myself. I'm not performing to the, to the, to the best of my ability as a, as a, as a human being. As I was a, still in ICU for quite a while and eventually they took the pipes out and I could start talking, which was amazing. Um, but I lost all the muscle in my legs. I couldn't walk. Um, I, 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 lost, um, I, I lost a lot of muscle mass on my arms and my hands were always shaking as well, which was really <laughs> hectic. So I couldn't even like text and stuff. You know, <laughs> you could, I couldn't work my fingers properly. I couldn't even open a, like a, a a bottle of juice or a, a water or anything. It was so, I was so weak. From a personal level, um, I'm finding that I'm just, uh, I, everything that I'm doing, I'm, I just, I, I find myself getting flooded, like gratitude just floods, floods in. And, and, you know, from driving to having a conversation with your child to, to holding Benjamin to kissing my, to, to kissing Diane, to all these little things, to speaking to mm. colleagues, to, it's all just you, 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 you've been in the hospital for five minutes and then you can do these things again. And, and it's just beautiful. You know, it's just that's the only way I can describe it. It's beautiful. So that's exciting.